The split phase principle is a method used to start and run single phase induction motors that have low to moderate starting torque requirements. Unlike three phase motors, which have a rotating magnetic field generated by three phase power, single phase motors rely on a single phase power supply, which makes it more challenging to create a rotating magnetic field for starting and running. To overcome this limitation, the split phase principle utilizes two windings in the motor, a main winding and an auxiliary winding, also called the starting winding. These windings are placed physically at 90 degrees to each other within the motor. The main winding is designed with a relatively high number of turns of wire, while the auxiliary winding has fewer turns. Additionally, the auxiliary winding is equipped with a higher resistance compared to the main winding. This difference in winding characteristics is crucial for the split phase principle to work effectively. During the motor's starting phase, both windings are energized. The main winding carries the majority of the current and produces a magnetic field. Simultaneously, the auxiliary winding, being in series with a centrifugal switch, is also energized. The centrifugal switch is a mechanical device that disconnects the auxiliary winding once the motor reaches approximately 70 to 80 percent of its operating speed. Now, here is where the split phase principle comes into play. The unequal characteristics of the windings create a phase difference between the magnetic fields produced by each winding. This phase difference results in the generation of a rotating magnetic field within the motor. Even though a single phase supply is provided, the auxiliary winding, with its higher resistance, helps in introducing this phase shift. The phase shift allows the motor to develop starting torque and initiate rotation. As the motor gains speed, the centrifugal switch opens, disconnecting the auxiliary winding from the power supply. And the motor continues to run using the main winding alone. It's important to note that the split phase principle is effective for motors with low to moderate starting torque requirements. For applications requiring high starting torque. Other methods such as capacitor start or capacitor start capacitor run motors are employed which we will be discussing in the upcoming videos. So, there you have it. The split phase principle is a clever technique used in single phase induction motors to create a rotating magnetic field and enable them to self-start and run efficiently. I hope you found this video informative and if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content on electrical engineering. Thank you for watching.